Hello, I've been asked to do a very quick tutorial looking at the generation of a graph showing the mean and the standard deviation of a group of data. So what we've got on the screen here is a, a fictitious data set consisting of four groups, A to D, and we have four sets of data for each group. And you can see here uh, the data seem to be going up uh, over the different group numbers. Um, what we've got here is a blank cell waiting for our mean and our standard deviation. So the first thing we need to do is do our mean. And to do the mean or the average in Excel is you use the formula equals average to an open parenthesis and select the data you want to do and then close the brackets and press return. And it gives you now the average of these four data sets. To do standard deviation, you type the equation equals st. DEV, which is the standard deviation formula, open parentheses, and select the data, and press return. You'll see immediately it's put your standard deviation and your mean to as many decimal places as it feels fit. So the sensible thing to do is select these data and reduce their decimal places to the same number of decimal places that we have in our raw data, in which case this is 1. So we've chosen a st uh, uh, standard deviation of mean with a one decimal place. Then we can select these two cells, click on the little square on the bottom, and drag this down so it fills the other cells. And you can see here, if you look at the formula up in the top here, it's automatically transposed the formula to correspond to the new data. So now we have the mean and the standard deviation for these four data sets. You can see that the means are slowly going up, and coincidentally, the standard deviations are going down and then up again, but that's, that's irrelevant because these data are made up. So they're not normally distributed, or we're not expecting them to show any, any trends. So we need to plot a graph of this. So I'm going to uh, select A, B, C, and D, and then select, sorry, wrong button, select A, B, C, and D, press the control button or on the Macintosh, the command button, and select the means. So we've got this area and this area now selected. And this is a max, so I'm going to choose charts, column, and clustered column. And there we are. There's our chart uh, plotted in glorious Excel Technicolor. Um, so we can do a, a little bit of editing on this later. But for the moment, we're not going to worry about that because our main aim here is to get these standard deviations onto this graph so we can see what the um, distribution, the error is on our data. So I'm going to click on the bars, and I want to go to the chart layout section. This is on the Mac version. Um, I'll do an Excel tutorial for PC shortly, but this is chart layout. There's a drop-down box labeled error bars, so click on that and go to error bar option. Please don't select any of these because they will not show the correct data. So go to error bar options and it'll bring up our error bars. We've got here obviously Y error bars because these are Y error bars. At the moment, you can see the error amount is set to a fixed value of 2. That is complete nonsense, of course, scientifically. Uh, equally, a percentage and a standard deviation of the entire data set would be incorrect. So we choose Custom. And now we choose Specify Value. And the Custom Error Bars dialog box appears with two boxes to enter our data, Positive Error Value and Negative Error Value. We could just type in 1, as you can see here. And you can see the standard deviation is plotted is plus or minus one, which is incorrect. So we'll select that and delete it, and then highlight the four boxes that contain the standard deviations. And you see it's automatically entered these into this box. We then select the negative error value, delete the number that's in there, and reselect the same box. So what we're telling the computer is that we want a positive error value corresponding to the numbers in these four cells, and we want a negative error value corresponding to the number in these four cells, because of course we express these data as a mean 3.3 plus or minus 0.8, so plus and minus 0. We press OK, and we press OK. We deselect what's on the screen, and you can see it's plotted now the means with the error bars corresponding to the error bars in our standard deviation column. Of course, being Excel, these data are live, so just to show this has worked, I'm going to edit data set B and put a very large error in so we can see that the data are working in real time. So I'm just going to change this value to 1, I'm going to change this value to 10, 
and you can see the error bar has improved in size corresponding to the number listed here. So this explains how to do means plus standard deviation. If you wanted to change this formula from standard deviation to standard error, you could do that, or you could use 95% confidence interval or any other variance you choose to plot.